Right, race fans, racing 393. And we're going to take one of my least favourite cars, I suppose. Not because I don't like Bugatti's, but it's not really one that I would buy, even if I had the money. So, it is the, the Bugatti Veyron, Super Sport. Reported at the time to be one of the fastest production cars ever built. Weighs over two tonnes. And, and a top speed of... Well, what was it? Like 250 mile an hour, was it? Was that right? We're going to test that today. Not only that, we're going to see if we can get a two ton vehicle in the air at the food plats, which is, you'll know it when we see it, is part of the first part of the track, which is actually, that bit's near an airfield. The food plats. Is it called the food plats? A lot of the a lot of the cars and, and stuff that you see on um, crash videos and things at the North Lines tend to happen there, where the cars go airborne. Um, we'll see. We'll see if it works. And also, I don't want to crash if I can help it. And I also want to see what the top speed is at the other end of the circuit. So you're going to end up with seven minutes of. Well, I say seven minutes seven to eight minutes of supreme driving or 30 seconds of shit we'll see so i'm on simulation steering as well try that out again it is a beast of a car Oh my god. Didn't hit anything, so all is good. I think the idea is you've got to realise you're probably going quicker than you realise because this car picks up so much speed so quickly. But we're coming down to the footplats uh, up here. I don't want to go too quick, if it does go in the air, we're not going to get around the next bit. Like that. Stop! There we go. <laughs> well, what we got out of that was, yes, a two and a quarter ton car can go airborne at the footplats. It needs wings. Right, we'll see if we can keep going to the end. I hope I've not damaged it too much. We'll look at the replay afterwards. I mean, we're already up to 170 mile an hour, 80. That is mad. Can't slow the bloody thing down. Oh my god, no, that. It, well, it's either that or. Simulation steering. I mean, this thing is insane, I have to say. Oh, again. I tell you what, it's got shit brakes. I don't think I look slow, I think. Thing is, I can't drive it slow, that's the problem. And I think the other thing, you don't realise the speed you're going. You look down, you're doing like 180 miles an hour. Don't hit the Anko again. Got around at that time. Maybe I should have ABS on. That'll save me. So, yes. Experiment one. You can get a two and a quarter ton 
Gigati Glyron in the air. It doesn't end very well. It's got shocking, shocking hand. I mean, I, I was a car was absolutely knackered, or I'm just going too fast. It's got so much torque. I mean, that's in third gear. That like, almost like second gear speed. Just to see how much air I got there at that foot flats, which did I'll replay afterwards, I think. Well, we've got enough so that when the four wheels are in the air, they're no good for braking. So it's already 130 odd mile an hour here, it's just insane. I mean, this isn't the fastest bit of the course. It might be easier on normal steering, not simulation steering. I suppose I could give that a try. I wonder what it's going to be like on the carousel. I'm we'll saying third actually around here. it has got so much torque. I reckon you can get around here in third as well. We'll take the proper line round, shall we? No. <laughs> Doesn't like that, does it? That is poor. We've got hardly any steering input before it goes and throws you off the track. Come on, Forza. I'm impressed with the speed that this thing goes. Which to turn 10 would sort out their handling. Apparently 4s or 7s is going to be no different, as in the handling model, from my, my understanding from the various videos on E3. Nope, nope, it's gone. This would kill you, this car, in real life. Half the problem, it's so heavy. Right, so a few more corners to go. The final carousel, which is nowhere near like the first one. Couple of tricky right handers. This one's sharper than you think. And the next one comes really quickly. So nice and easy. Right. Let's see what you can do. 150 already. And that's that's just gone now, isn't it? So there we go. It's got seven speed. Keep it in six, I think. I don't think the straight's long enough for its maximum speed. 
That's not gonna work. Slow down. <laughs> well, there we go. A Bugatti Veyron demolished. Um, hang on. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to, I should carry on, shouldn't I? At least around the corner, I think. Because what I need is a replay, uh, only really for the uh, first bit. So, I've got a badge. I felt sorry for me. And a spin. That'd be a thing, wouldn't it? Of driving a Bugatti and then go and win a Fiesta. And I've won a Fiesta. Thanks, old two, isn't it? Thanks for that. Right. Let's have a look at this then. This should be interesting. Of how much air time I got. Um, most cars would have wings on that race around here, wouldn't they? The sports cars and things like that. Most touring cars don't. And I know you've seen, you've seen pitch, not pictures, but footage of them floating through the air. Um, and back in the day when the Formula 1 cars used to go there even, you know, the ones with wings, even the ones, certainly the ones without wings they used to glide over those hills obviously they won't go as quick as even this car um, so, I mean this car weighs like two and a quarter tons, is it, in real life? And I wonder if it's ever been round the north shots anyway. Right, so if we go down the straight, can have some speed. We have got some serious speed there, by the way. So there's the foot claps, which is because it's built near an airfield. It's net that to foot claps is flight path. That's what it stands for. I don't know what speed I was doing then. Here we go. I mean, look at that. That is insane. That is an insane amount of air. No wonder it went off. I mean, that's just taken off. It's just taken off, as the name suggests. And that must have jumped like 50 metres odd. I'm still, I'm still in the air. Although I didn't break. And so it was too late. Camera can't keep up on going so fast. And we're just on the... We're just now going, heading into an accident. That was impressive. Let's go back to that again. <laughs> what? Really? Oy. I mean, that is pretty scary. That is... Uh, I mean, now... This is just me being... I'm just trying something here. So, here's my photo mode. Look at that. <laughs> we are pretty much out of control at that point. I love testing things out like this to see whether or not how true it is, or how, how accurate are they modelling this track. I would go as far as to say as yes. It looks a lot lower than it is in the picture behind.
Fugazi brakes, ground a piece probably, more so than that, five grand a piece. What am I supposed to be, um, like gold? Absolute daft. Mm. Quite impressive. Try, I'll try another car like, later. Another quick, that'd be a quick car. To see how much air we can get. Uh, yeah, it looks a lot higher there than that than the picture suggests. And you can see that we're, we're completely out of control. I mean, we landed, sparks are flying. We are breaking now. I'm just going to head off into the scene of the accident. And into the tire will we go. At least, I mean, I've got to say, that is a pretty neat feature. Well, the drawer didn't really sort of go forward, as you expect. But yes. One damaged second-hand Bugatti Veyron. Anyway, that's just me just testing cars over the foot plats. Let me give it a go. Get in a car. Do any, 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 anything that's got the track that track on it. And see if you can get some air time. It's always good fun. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.